Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. In the following tutorial, users will see an interactive graphic sample. We will also see the difference between absolute and relative animation sets. Here, we have a pre-made template with two candidate groups. What we want, is when we tap on the candidate, it should scale up, and on down swipe gesture, it should scale down. Let's begin. We have placed pivots at bottom. Press F7 and go to track view. Select the animation tab. Now, right click on default to create animation set. Define name and type. We want to apply the animation set on scale so, we will take a float 3 variable. Check on absolute, as we have a fix value from 1, 1, 1 to 1.25, 1.25, Now we add keys to track. Right click to add stop animation set control action. Select stop animation set. Here, the target will be self. The retained transform will be checked on, and select animation set from list. Press add. Next, we will add an event on gesture. Select group, right click to go to events, and then select on gesture. Search play animation set. Again, the target will be self. Select transform to scale. Select animation set to scale in. Now, Q and play. Select gesture mode. Now, tap on candidate group. As we have applied absolute animation, it will always scale from 1 to 1.4. Users can change key value at any point of time. Here, we are changing values from 1.4 to 1.25. Tap to check again. Next, we will create an animation set for scaling down. Right click to create an animation set. Define name and type. Here too, we want to apply the animation set on scale, so, we will take float3 variable. Check on absolute, as we have a fix value from 1.25 to 1. Add keys to track. We will add value from 1.25 to 1. Right click to add stop animation set control action. Select stop animation set. Here, the target will be self. The retained transform will be checked on, and select animation set from list. Next, we will add a gesture on down swipe to scale down. 
Select group. Right click to go to events and select on gesture. Select gesture. Search play animation set. Here, the target will be self. Set transform to scale. Select animation set to scale out. Q and play. Select gesture mode. Now, down swipe to check. Right click to copy triggers from candidate 1 and paste it on candidate 2. We are using the same template to show relative animation set. Go to track view and select animation tab. Right click on default to create animation set. Now, define name and type. We want to apply it on scale so, we will take float3 variable. Next, add keys to track. As it's a relative animation set, we want the group to scale to 0.25 units. Right click to add stop animation set control action. Select stop animation set. Here, the target will be self. Retain transform will be checked on and select animation set from list. Next, we will add a gesture event on both groups. Select group, right click to go to events, and select on gesture. Search play animation set. Again, the target will be self. Select transform to scale. Select animation set to scale in. Now, Q and play. Select gesture mode. Now, tap on candidate group. As it is a relative animation set, we want the group to scale to 0.25 units, every time the user taps. Now, we will create animation set for scaling down. Right click to create animation set. Define name and type. We want to apply it on scale so, we will take float3 variable. Add keys to track. As it's a relative animation set. We will reduce scale by negative 0.25 units. Right click to add stop animation set control action. Select Stop Animation Set. Here, the target will be Self. The Retain Transform will be checked on, and Select Animation Set from List. Next, we will add a gesture on Down Swipe to scale down. Select Group. Right click to go to events and select on gesture. Select gesture. Search play animation set. Here, the target will be self. Set transform to scale. Select animation set to scale out. Q and play. Select gesture mode. Now, down swipe to check. Each down swipe will reduce it by 0.25 units.
Right-click to copy triggers from candidate 1 and paste it on candidate 2. <laughs> 